it's John Piper with a weekend video clip and it's Sunday the 7th of July. Apologies no report yesterday but I had a full day seminar for the Yahura system. Um, today we're going to start with Bitcoin uh, and it's keeping us guessing right now. So we had the, what I'm calling the peak of one, big one there, so that, that's the rally all the way up from 3000 odd in December. Uh, a clear ABC decline and the question is, is that just wave A of an ABC, a bigger ABC? Was that a complete correction and we're now going up? Um, sadly, can't answer the question still because this could be an impulsive five, um, or it could be A of an ABC. Um, this could be an impulsive five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, so this could be a B perhaps. This could be the first leg down A, this bigger ABC. This is definitely ABC at the moment, so that's uh, some clarity. So I think we're definitely due another sell off. Um, the question is, are we due a B wave? Sorry, are we due a two wave, i.e. one, and then an ABC two, and then we head for the moon, as it were? Um, or are we instead seeing this this B wave before a C wave decline? And there is no clear answer at the moment. It's looking, uh, it could go either way right now. I mean, the stability is quite impressive. Um, here we are holding these levels quite well. I think that's a positive. Um, but the wave pattern is still open to interpretation. And uh, I mean, it, it depends how you look at it. It'd be quite nice to have lower prices. Um, because we've now got a clear, clearly impulsive wave one. Um, so if we then see a bigger ABC decline, that would be a good opportunity to go in, get in, add to positions. Um, those of you who don't want to add to positions, then it'd just be a pain in the, <laughs> pain in the neck seeing the price go down again. So, um, but it's just a matter of time, I think. I don't, I'd be, well, you know, the market can always confound us, but I'd be amazed if we actually start retesting the December lows. That would of course be a, ma a major issue and suggest that the bear market is not over. But um, my belief is that the bear market is open, so it's over, and that uh, we are going higher. It's just a question of when. Um, but uh, I mean, t in terms of time, it's certainly been, um, well, a few weeks really since this, this correction started. So we had a six month rally, uh, or thereabouts, and we've now had I think two weeks of a correction. So it's still a very subnormal correction. Um, so that, that's the big argument for a, big, a bigger decline. The, the correction is just very small compared to the rally. Um, but I, I'll, I'll be guided by the wave pattern, which at the moment is not giving us a clear signal. And gold is, gold is following the same script, uh, almost in exactly the same time frame. We saw the peak here, which looks like the um, fifth wave of three, of three um, with a four and a five to come. So ABC, that could have been wave four. Um, Pretty, pretty clear impulsive move up to there. Uh, but now we've got this quite strong pullback, A, B, C. But if it extends, it'll be it'll look like another leg down. So um, on, on gold, I think it might, it might well extend, I think. So we might well see a bigger sell off on gold uh, as, as a wave four before we see a fifth wave rally to complete this, uh, this initial move up. Uh, when I say initial move up, I mean initial wave. I mean, I mean wave one of three. So um, we see, saw the wave two low there, a nice, a nice big correction, clearly in, uh, in relatively, um, in terms of the relation of time and price to the, the move off the 1166 level, uh, thereabouts, um, yeah, this fit the bill pretty well. And we've now got this one, one, two, three. So this counts as four and, and it's actually I mean, it's certainly big enough already um, at the lows we've seen, so we don't need another sell off here. Um, in fact, we, we would call into question, a break below here would call into question that count because it could easily take out the wave one high at this point here, um, which would mean that we're seeing something different, but uh, that remains to be seen. But looking at the Dow, we've now, now got all, all new time highs by a fairly slender margin. Uh, the wave count is one, two, three, four. Looks like we're seeing a sort of rising wedge here for five, which is like a, I mean, not necessarily totally terminal, but obviously if it's a fifth wave, then we'd expect that to be the final move of the sequence. So one more rally might just see that finished before we see a, a at least a correction, possibly more than that. In contrast, FTSE still looks pretty good for more upside. Five part one move, two, uh, should be part of three, so I'd expect more upside on the FTSE, certainly the way it's looking. 
And DAX also looks uh, pretty good. So it's just really the Dow which is uh, causing a few question marks. Uh, one, two, one, two. So again, we've got a third of a third here. So suggesting decent upside. Um, had to maybe be seeing whether the Dow can actually probe, um, you know, break up above the previous all-time high. Um, but the way it counts a bit against it right now. Um, the whole today for introducing um, back to the report on Tuesday morning. Uh, have a great day. Thanks for listening and bye for now.